Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. For those of you who are new, welcome. Every week I talk about slow fashion with a heavy focus on the principles of minimalism. So using, loving what you already have and making smart shopping decisions and maybe some smart lifestyle decisions too, so that you can create a closet and hopefully a home full of pieces that you actually love and wear. So if that sounds like your jam, hit subscribe below. I post every Sunday. And for those of you who are coming back, Big hello, bonjour, uh, welcome back to you. Thank you so, so much for coming back and watching. This week, I am tackling vintage and how to style it with the pieces that you already have in your closet. I talk about vintage all the time. I absolutely love it because it's an incredibly sustainable option and a really conscious way to bring in great personality and beautiful classic and cool pieces into your closet. However, it is not always the easiest thing to wear. So if you're just diving into vintage or if you, you know, have purchased some vintage items and you're like, great, I own these but now I have no idea how to actually wear them then maybe you're gonna want to stick around and watch this video because I've got a couple of my favorite tips on how to style vintage how to integrate it into your closet without looking like you are wearing a Halloween costume or like you're an extra on some period movie set so let's jump right in if you're new to buying vintage, keeping it neutral and with clean classic silhouettes is the easiest way to integrate it into your closet. Not only are these pieces that are super versatile, but they'll be a lot less intimidating for you to style and put on regularly, and they'll integrate a lot more seamlessly into your own closet with the pieces you already have. It totally depends on your own personal style and how much of that vintage personality do you want to inject into your closet. I love dressing my vintage items down because it just makes them feel a little bit more wearable. Nowadays our clothes have to meet so many different demands, whereas vintage pieces have a little bit more of a sense of occasion. So for me to feel more comfortable in them day to day, I'll often pair them with a pair of sneakers and I pay attention to adding looser, more relaxed and natural fabrics like a simple cotton tee with a little bit of give to it. I love buying vintage separates because it means I can pair them with contemporary pieces from my closet. So making sure that you're pairing both of these styles into your overall look is a really great way to integrate vintage into your closet. And if you don't have a super contemporary or trendy piece, like for example a crop top to go with these high-waisted pants, then just make your own. I created this great little asymmetrical crop top by tucking the hem of my t-shirt into my bra and all the way around, and voila! Normally, I wouldn't advise wearing head-to-toe vintage, however, if that's your jam and if you absolutely want to, then I say go for it. The way to make it work is by not wearing head to toe all one decade. Mix up your eras. So I've got this 90s dress, paired it with a 1970s menswear Bill Blast blouse, and I think those slingbacks are from the 80s. To be completely honest, I think the reason why this works is that the silhouettes are pretty classic and there's a great grounding neutral. Embrace vintage, but stay 21st century chic by keeping your hair and makeup in the now. I have no idea exactly what this means. Obviously, that's going to depend on your beauty ritual and what you love. But I would just steer clear of any very strong references to vintage hair and makeup. As with any well put together outfit, accessories can really make or break the deal and it's the exact same when working with vintage pieces. So whether you're pairing vintage clothes with contemporary and modern accessories or you are pairing your vintage jewelry with contemporary jewelry and modern pieces, it all works. The point is to mix and match and have fun with it. Fashion rules are just silly, and when it comes to vintage, I really don't think there are any. My gold vintage signet ring goes with pretty much everything I wear, and don't forget about sunnies and handbags. If you keep these accessories contemporary with vintage pieces, then your look will still feel up-to-date and chic. 
Styling hacks are probably my favorite way to bring vintage pieces into the now, and that doesn't necessarily mean that I am adjusting the vintage piece, but pretty much whatever I need to in the overall look to make it feel more current. Take for example this little nautical inspired look where I am adjusting the top, which is actually the new piece, and rather than giving it a cute little knot at the waist, which I think would come across as way too 50s, I've given it a bit of a faux tuck and I've popped the collar to make it look a bit more preppy and current. that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed those vintage tips. Let me know which outfit uh, was your favorite. I'm not gonna lie, that suit that I just picked up, which was totally unexpected, uh, is has like struck me to the core. I'm so in love with it. Anyway, I'd love to know your comments about the video below. Hit thumbs up if you learned something new or if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have an amazing Sunday, a wonderful rest of your week, and I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!